What's going on, everybody? Welcome to GMI's World Podcast. And the first thing that I want to do is wish the Kansas City Chiefs the best on advancing to the AFC Championship. Uh, they had a very, very long and, um, you know, hard-fought season in which a lot of people questioned their defense and things like that, including myself. Defensively, I thought they were very, very porous, and they gave up a lot of yards. But we're going to get to that in a second. Also, um, you know, special recognition to Andrew Luck. Uh, uh, per, like, I, like, I didn't really think he was going to come back this year. Off, after all those injuries being all over the place, trying to fix that shoulder, um, trying to do a lot of things uh, more mentally than anything else, uh, just so many things that he had to overcome. And it just shows out, I just want to point out that if you are anybody that you know are, you know, are dealing with those type of issues where you feel like, you just can't do it anymore. You don't know what's going on. Make sure you talk to people and try to figure out what you want to do. Don't just give up on your dream because, in all honesty, he was able to come out and put on a show. Not so much in this game against the Kansas City Chiefs, but, again, he, he still came out and gave the Colts, after a slow start, something to look forward to in the future. So I think they have a lot to build on. They got a great defense. Offensive line is revamped. Uh, I think they have a lot to look forward to. So I don't want you guys to keep your, head, uh, your heads low, Colt fans out there. You guys got a lot – to look forward to. And, and trust me, early in the season, you guys even think you were going to end up anywhere near where you finished. So I know there's no such thing. I don't believe in moral victories, but at least you know that you got something to look forward to. He could get a little bit more healthy in the off season and maybe they could put somebody else um, with, uh, you know, um, what is that? That Hilton, T.Y. Hilton. Maybe they could put somebody else with him to help him get some things done. I know Inman was doing a couple, you know, good things, but maybe get him a, a real solid receiver. Just stay away from uh, A.B. Antonio Brown will completely destroy that team. And I know a lot of you guys would probably kill to get him on your squad, but I don't know about that guy right now. Now, other than that, I'm going to talk about, like I said, what we didn't expect. I did not expect the Chiefs defense to play so well. The, the Colts were able to score on a special teams play, the block punt. That was their offense. That You know what I'm saying? Like, just imagine that. A Chiefs offense that was just literally, like, holy, bro. Like, you could just throw anything through the amount of holes that they gave with the defense completely just locked up. And then when you look at the defense being well-rounded for the Colts, it didn't really make much sense. It, well, I guess it kind of did because Tyreek Hill, he's so much that you have to watch. A lot of the plays where you would see uh, Kelsey get open, all they did was motion Tyreek Hill from one side to the other. It's very, very difficult to account for that type of speed so easily. So when you look at it from that type of aspect, it's very, very difficult defensively for anybody, which I, which is why I think that this year, even when I told you guys, if you go all the way back to uh, some of my other recaps earlier in the season, week two, week three, when I was telling you guys that Patrick Mahomes is probably going to be the MVP, I saw that he was coming into his own because Tyreek Hill is a great, like he's just a great buffer to have. Because even if you're not going to him, he does so many other things that annoy. Like, you can't really pay. The dude is just out. If he was a little bit taller, he would be Randy Moss. You know, the only thing that you can't really give him is the height. So sometimes when you throw the ball, defenders that are trailing can, like, jump up and knock it down. With Randy Moss, Culpepper used to just put it up really, really high and lead it out front. It was very, very difficult for anybody to get there, Moss being 6'4 and being able to jump so high. So that's one of the things that, you know, the only thing that Tyreek Hill could probably have to make him – you know, more dominant in the league, but he's a very, very dangerous receiver. Now, looking at Mahomes going forward, right, whether he plays the Patriots or he plays the Chargers, I still think they win either way. If they play the Chargers, it's probably mentally going to be easier for Patrick Mahomes to win, even though the Chargers are the better team, in my opinion. You see what I'm saying? Like, if the Chargers lose to the Patriots, it's something about the Patriots that really gets to people because people are not really ready to believe that Tom Brady is finished. So if they're able to beat the Chargers, that's going to be an issue that mentally Patrick Mahomes is going to have to overcome because if you watch them when they played in the regular season, you could see that he was like, wow, like this dude, he was starstruck. Like whatever, you could call it whatever you want, but you could see it in his face. He was starstruck just like being able to play against Tom Brady. I understand about respecting your elders and respecting greatness, but if I'm if I'm competing against you, you can't allow that emotion to get to you because remember, at that time, Kareem Hunt was still in the league. He missed Kareem Hunt on wide open plays for touchdowns, so he was a little bit eager. I think that's all gone now. I think he realizes that he's the MVP. I think the league also realizes that they can't give the MVP to Drew Brees, even though he's old and he's never gotten one and he has all these records. Patrick Mahomes was the better quarterback this entire season. Like, they both had some bad games, but regardless of what was going on, Patrick Mahomes, in my opinion, throughout the season, was the better quarterback. So he's definitely going to be the MVP unless the NFL rigs it somehow. So now going forward, right, 
what 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 does it mean that the the Kansas City Chiefs defense is playing so well? Let me just point out to you, right? Philip Rivers is going to throw the ball like he's blind every snap. I'm not saying that he's not, I, I like Philip Rivers. I'm just saying like when he throws it, it looks his throw motion is so weird. So it looks like he doesn't know where the ball's going, but somehow he's very accurate. Let me just explain something to you, right? Justin Houston being back, that was very very huge and it showed on that defensive line where they have all other types of dudes that are just brawlers on that line. If they're able to get pressure, the way they were able to get pressure on Andrew Luck, it's going to be a lot worse. With, with Philip Rivers, because he always he already has that awkward throwing motion. So if you get him off his if you get him off his spot, it is going to turn out to be a, a nightmare. Okay, when you look at it on the other side with Philip Rivers going up against that Chargers defense, the Chargers defense, in my opinion, is underrated to the point where people don't even realize that they have a lot of dudes that like pretty much, like all they got a lot of all pros, bro. Like even though they you know Joey Bosa wasn't there. Uh, their corners are pretty good. You know, Josie, Joey Bosa coming back late in the season. That If they were to play the Chargers, even with all that, I think that just the fact that Tom Brady is nowhere near the play, like nowhere on the field, I don't think that anybody is intimidated by Phillip Rivers or the Chargers. You see what I'm saying? And people don't understand. I'm not saying that the Chiefs are intimidated. I'm saying that the factor of Tom Brady not really trying to sing his swan song is going to it's, it's going to play a role because you know that that – most of the time when you bet, if you bet uh, and, and the Patriots are playing, you bet solely on the Patriots because Tom Brady's there. So you already know everybody is going to be, you know, Tom Brady's going to be a part of the discussion. Like the guy, he's not ready to retire. The dude don't want to go home to his wife. He don't care about none of that. He's just trying to play football. So that is going to be something that's going to resonate with a lot of the players, old and young, and with the coaching staff. But at this point right here, I said it myself. If Andy Reid didn't come out with this victory, at least in the first, you know, the divisional game for the first game in the playoffs, they should fire him. I don't know if you fire him if he loses in the next round, but I think that it is a good step for the Kansas City Chiefs going forward. I also want to point out that I believe if the if they if they win everything, like if they if they win the AFC side, they beat the Patriots or the Chargers, I believe that the Chiefs will win the Super Bowl. I don't think any of the NFC teams that are remaining, including the uh, the Saints and the um, and the Rams, if the Rams, uh, you know, I believe that the Rams will beat the Cowboys, but I don't think that offensively they pose the same threats that the Chiefs do. And if the defense of the Chiefs is able to get a couple stops, you're not going to be able to contain Patrick Mahomes and that Kansas City Chiefs defense, you know, for an entire four quarters. So unless something goes really, really wrong, and, you know, somebody is not there that's supposed to be there, if the Chiefs are able to pull out the win, the AFC side, I'm going to go, I would bet heavily that the Chiefs would be the Super Bowl champions. And Andy Reid will, prop, you know, finally get that monkey off his back by being one of the, I think he's like the second winning as coaches in the regular season, and he just doesn't have a ring. He doesn't have a championship. It, it's, it's the, this is his best year to take advantage of it. This is the only chance that he has because once every, you know, when you go through a year, Patrick Mahomes is more of a surprise this year. He won't be a surprise next year. Nobody was expecting this guy to just come out, you know, fresh off of, you know, getting rid of, the, you know, whatever it is called, the, the, the game manager. You know what I'm saying, bro? And sending him to the Washington Redskins. They weren't expecting after Alex Smith was gone for this to happen. They, like, I knew he was good based on what I saw him do in college, just being able to throw the ball down the field. I knew he had a big arm. I didn't expect this. This, this is unbelievable stuff, man. Like, he, he really has all the tools that are necessary for his team to succeed. And he's not lacking anything. He's making sidearm throws. Like, he made that throw to Kelsey. I'm like, what is this? He's making it look so easy out there. That's dangerous. And then now, with a seat, with an offseason, say he wins the Super Bowl, you can't take that confidence away. It's a chance that the Kansas City Chiefs could be a dynasty. Like, all they got to do is fix the defensive side of the ball. Just think about it. Kelsey is pretty much a wide receiver at tight end. You can't cover Tyreek Hill one on one. You got to you got to bracket coverage him. You got you got Watkins. You got a lot of guys that are are able to make plays. So this team could ultimately become the new dynasty if everything is able to you know work out. Eric Berry, all these guys come back, be studs. You get a better uh, defensive um, cornerback situation going on. This team could be you know very very good regardless of what happened with Hunt um, and everything like that. Marcus Peters being traded because of his behavior. All those things. Just keep that in mind that I told you that. If they're able to beat either the Chargers or the Patriots, you could see this team in the Super Bowl winning it and possibly the creation of an all-new dynasty with Tom Brady passing the throne to Patrick Mahomes. Thank you guys and girls for watching.
Until next time, one love.